In numerical analysis, the FTCS forward time central space method is a finite difference method used for numerically solving the heat equation and similar parabolic partial differential equations. It is a first-order method in time, explicit in time, and is conditionally stable when applied to the heat equation. When used as a method for advection equations, or more generally hyperbolic partial differential equation, it is unstable unless artificial viscosity is included. The abbreviation FTCS was first used by Patrick Roach. The method The FTCS method is based on central difference in space and the forward Euler method in time, giving first-order convergence in time and second-order convergence in space. For example, in one dimension, if the partial differential equation is U T equals F U X T 2 u x 2 display style frac partial u partial t equals f left u x t frac partial caret 2 u partial x caret 2 right then letting u i delta x n delta t equals u i n display style u i delta x n delta t equals u underscore i caret n the forward euler method is given by u i n plus 1 minus u i N delta T equals F I N U X T two U X two Display style FRAC U underscore I carrot N plus one U underscore I carrot N delta T equals F underscore I carrot N left U x T FRAC partial carrot two U partial x carrot two right The function F Display style F must be discretized spatially with a central difference scheme. This is an explicit method which means that U I N plus one display style U underscore I carrot N plus one can be explicitly computed. No need of solving a system of algebraic equations if values of U display style U at previous time level N Display style n are known. FTCS method is computationally inexpensive since the method is explicit. Topic illustration: one-dimensional heat equation. The FTCS method is often applied to diffusion problems. As an example, for 1D heat equation, U T equals alpha 2 U X 2 display style frac partial U partial T equals alpha frac partial caret 2 U partial X caret 2. The FTCS scheme is given by U I N plus one minus U I N delta T equals alpha delta X two 
u i plus 1 n minus 2 u i n plus u i minus 1 n Display style FRAC U underscore I carrot N plus one U underscore I carrot N delta T equals FRAC alpha delta X carrot two left U underscore I plus one carrot N two U underscore I carrot N plus U underscore I one carrot N right or letting R equals alpha delta T delta x two display style r equals frac alpha delta t delta x caret two u i n plus one equals u i n plus r U I plus one N minus two U I N plus U I minus one N Display style U underscore I carrot N plus one equals U underscore I carrot N plus R left U underscore I plus one carrot N two U underscore I carrot N plus U underscore I one carrot N right. Topic Stability The FTCS method, for one-dimensional equations, is numerically stable if and only if the following condition is satisfied. R equals alpha delta T delta x 2 1 2 Display style R equals FRAC alpha delta T delta x carrot two LEQ FRAC one two the time step delta T Display style delta T is subjected to the restriction given by the above stability condition. A major drawback of the method is for problems with large diffusivity the time step restriction can be too severe. For hyperbolic partial differential equations, the linear test problem is the constant coefficient advection equation, as opposed to the heat equation or diffusion equation, which is the correct choice for a parabolic differential equation. It is well known that for these hyperbolic problems, any choice of delta t display style delta t results in an unstable scheme topic see also partial differential equations crank nicholson method